And there is anger, too, within the community of Humboldt, where there is a growing hunger for answers about the crash itself. So tonight, Susan Ormiston takes us back to the scene of that tragedy to hear what people are saying, but also to give us a driver's eye view of the landscape. There is something sad but uplifting about the memorial sprouting from the muddy prairie. 16 crosses mark the spot a man from nearby Nipawin made them. No one asked him to. So many coming now looking for some kind of solace. It's been really hard at the schools. Like, everyone's always talking about it, and it's like, it's not something that just goes away really easily. What questions do you have? Why? Why did it have to happen? Like, and why was it just those specific people that died? Like, why did the other people get to live? The memorial has grown organically, from one small cross to a mound of mementos. Families have made a pilgrimage. There is a lot of pain at this cold, windy intersection, but we're hearing quite a bit of anger now too. With scant information coming from investigators so far, people want to know what actually happened here and who will pay. There is wide open prairie here with a stop sign at the corner. Truckers are now coming to eyeball the scene. Kevin Sloan needed to. I had an awful time dealing with this. That's my industry. And when this happens, there's no excuse. You think somebody should be charged? Absolutely. Absolutely. There is no reason for this. If the, if the road conditions and visibility was like it is now, there's no excuse. Police did interview the driver, released him, and have laid no charges to date. So this is the route that the trucker would have taken on that Friday afternoon, traveling west on Highway 335 in Saskatchewan. There's good visibility to the north. The bus was coming from the south, and on the south side of this part of the highway, there is a stand of trees blocking visibility at this corner. However, you can see there is a stop sign and a red flashing light at this intersection. As we approach, we can't see south, where the bus was coming from, until about here. Your heart has to go out to the truck driver. You know, like, no doubt, it's not intentional, you know. It's human error. Now this has become a very large shrine on this corner. What do you think? Well, I think it'd be nice to see a permanent memorial or something put up here, you know. The investigators report when it comes won't bring anyone back. But there is a deep yearning to excavate some sense, however small, out of the brutal moment that stole so many lives. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, near Nipawin, Saskatchewan.